Hey everybody, welcome back to e 3 d I'm Mike and today I'm going to show you how to hook up a Raspberry Pi to your Quiddy X Max. Now there's a couple things that you're going to need. I personally went out and bought a kit that was already done so I didn't have to do much. And that right here is the Canna Kit. This right here, it comes with your Raspberry Pi, the case for it, some wires, it comes with your power cord. Make sure when you get a power cord, if you buy your own, get the right power cord. If not, there's a lot of issues going around. Alright, and it's going to come with your your actual Raspberry Pi itself. I've got the uh, Raspberry Pi 4 uh, with four gig of RAM. Uh, so it's gonna have the fans, got some heat sinks and stuff like that in there. Step-by-step -step guide that shows you what you need to do. So a couple other things that you're gonna need before you do this. You need to buy this thing right here. Don't buy any knockoffs. If you buy a knockoff, I'm telling you right now, it won't work. I've already thrown that money down the drain and realized that it didn't work even after everyone in the forum said, hey, don't buy this, I still did it anyway. So. Don't buy the knockoffs, but you will need this to hook up this. Now, if you've got a like a canvas hub or something from Mosaic and you're trying to hook it all up, you're still going to need this USB cable to hook up to the actual printer to get it to work. Since everyone knows that the little USB on the front of the Quiddy X Max doesn't actually work like a normal USB. It's one way you can only put it in. So you're going to have to actually get inside to the electronics of the actual printer itself. And that's what this video is going to show you. So before we get started, though, just know that by taking this printer apart and starting to mess with the electronics. If you void any warranties or anything like that, I'm sorry. Uh, it's a risk that I took and it worked out and has paid off for me. Um, so just be careful and uh, make sure you're doing that at your own risk. So let's get started and uh, watch this video. Before we start any of this, you need to make sure that there is no power to this printer. Make sure that the back switch is off. Make sure you unplug that cable and take every precaution to make sure that there's no electricity there's no power running through this thing so before we started recording this video um i was trying to figure out how to get to the motherboard where is it so as you can see here you know you gotta take this printer and lay it on its side uh you'll see when i rotate it there it opens up the bottom which has got that metal grate in there so that's when you're gonna have to start taking off all the screws and everything one advice here you'll see some screws pop up on some videos and then no screws on another video when it comes to holding that motherboard in place. So leave those screws in there until you unhook the wires like I did. Once you get all those wires unhooked, you can then remove the motherboard and figure out where you need to go. I've highlighted it here for you so you can see where you need to plug this in. And then once you hide your USB cable, run it wherever you need to. If it can't talk to your printer, uh, one of the biggest culprits of that is that you might have accidentally mixed up your RX and your TX wire. So if you look at this video here at the end, I've got showing you exactly how it needs to be hooked up for it to talk to your printer. And if you use the knockoffs, a USB to TTL cables, just know that once you plug that in, one, it won't talk, and two, it also blacks out your screen on your Quiddy X Max. So make sure that you plug it in the way that I've got it shown right here. Also, don't hook anything up to the VCC. And once you boot everything up, make sure you turn the printer on, then turn on your uh, Raspberry Pi. All right, so now that I've shown you how to do that, it's actually not that hard of a uh, process to get everything hooked up in there. 
Uh, it did take lots of time. I ended up having to buy a, a longer ribbon cable to hook up my camera and everything, which I will show you all my designs that I've built for that and all the processes I've had to go through just to get that camera to work. It's been a long one. It's been complicating and it's taken a lot of uh, extra money that I just pretty much threw away because I bought the wrong parts instead of listening to people who's done this before. So lesson learned on my behalf. Um, but I hope this video has helped you. If it has, please like, share, subscribe it, hit the notification buttons, and tell your friends about this. Um, there's a lot of people out there that are wanting to do this, but there's not been any videos on this specific printer uh, because there was a lot of confusion that this wouldn't work for this printer. Well, I'm here to show you that it does work and follow for the next videos because then I'm going to show you how to make sure you get Octoprint loaded on your system, how to actually create prints from here, and then once the camera is finally mounted in its final resting place, I will be able to show you how the time lapse works and how we are recording and actually go through the process from beginning to end with the Octoprint. And hopefully I will have a decent print for you to look at. If not, hopefully you at least have a print to look at. Um, not too many have been decent lately, but that's on me. So good luck with this. I hope it works out for you. Let me know if it did. If it didn't, if you got any suggestions or better ways to do it, please send me a comment below and I'll read it, respond. And if I need to make some changes on here, please let me know and uh, we'll do it. Thanks.